in our prayer time this morning, we want it to be the prayers of God's people. For you to participate, you'll need a microphone, so just raise your hand. And I'm going to invite us to pray with our eyes open, just expressing our gratitude to God. This morning we focus on the cross, on the great gift of God's salvation. I hope many of you will participate. We've primed a couple of people to get a start, Martha Stunden and Marvin Miller. So this is your time. Let's express our gratitude to God and many of us with eyes open, praising God for his goodness and his grace. Father, hear our prayers. Dear Father, it's been said that nothing pleases you more than to be thanked. This morning, on this first Sunday of the month, we have come together to remember why we worship you. Your love always takes action to meet needs. You provided an escape for each one of us from the natural end of man. You gave us a baby and then 30 plus years of perfect example. Then you provided the perfect sacrifice to pay for our sins through that man, Jesus. Then, O oh Father, you raised him from the dead and allowing us to join him to be with you for eternity. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Someone else. Thank you, Lord, for giving, loving us, even though we've rebelled, and for not abandoning us. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a second chance. Thank you for dying for us on the cross while we were yet sinners. Thank you, Lord, for taking upon you our sins and our shortcomings and for forgiving our sins that we may have peace and receive, receive eternal life through you and that we will be able to live with you for all eternity. For this we are forever grateful. Amen. Now in just a sentence, Lord Jesus, we thank you. Many of you join us in prayer. Thank you, Father, for the love that you demonstrate to us every single day. I deeply thank you, Lord, for all the times you just pick me up when little things go wrong and dust me off. And I just pray that I can see what you have in store for me. I have a feeling that there's something. I keep looking, but I, I don't know exactly what it is. But thank you, Lord, all that you've done for me and my family. Amen. Herman? Ever since I was a child, the Lord's Prayer has had special yearning for me. And I finally got to the point where I could sing it. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be the Forgive us our 
our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for Thank you, Herman. Someone else. I read an interesting sentence this morning, and I'm sure every one of us could take this to heart. The Lord does not promise to remove mountains, but he does promise to give us the strength to climb them. Lord, thank you. Thank you for taking care of me so many years. When, you, when I'm down, you're up. You bring me up. And, oh, Lord, you've taken so good care of me. I can only praise and thank you. Amen. Let's join uh, Bob Montgomery. And then after Bob, let's join in reciting the Lord's Prayer together. Bob? Thank you for a godly, very special caregiver. Will you join me as we recite the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.